Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm going to make a dates cake with dark chocolate without an oven. I'll be making this cake in a pan. So first I'll be taking around 200 grams of dates and removing the seeds to make it into a puree. Okay, I'm done removing the seeds. Now let's move on to making the puree. Heat up a pan, add 5 tablespoons of sugar and a splash of milk and then goes in your dates. You need to mix it frequently, mix it continuously. This puree will get thick and you might have to add more milk. What you need is a very smooth puree. Once the puree is soft, turn off the flame and let it cool. Now let's move on to making the batter. For this I'm taking 5 eggs. I'm separating the yolks and the whites. Whisk this continuously into a foamy batter. If you have a hand mixer or a blender, uh, that is more easy. Since I don't have one, I'll be using a whisk. In between, add 3 tablespoons of sugar, 1 tablespoon at a time. It should be the consistency of a whipping cream. The stiff peak indicates that the egg whites are ready. Our puree has cooled. Now into a mixer, add the egg yolks that we kept aside earlier. A pinch of baking soda and baking powder each. A teaspoon of vanilla essence. Two and a half tablespoon of cocoa powder. I've used Hershey's cocoa powder and then goes in the puree. Five tablespoons of all-purpose flour, a splash of milk in order to make it into a thick batter, around three tablespoons of sugar. Now you have to blend it well into a thick batter. Our batter is ready. Now we'll add this into the egg whites little by little you need to make sure you that you only fold it not mix it fast it's better to use a spatula now take around 100 grams of dark chocolate and cut it into small pieces. Add this into the batter and mix this gently. Now I'm greasing up the pan in which I'll be making my cake. Pour the cake batter into the pan and gently tap it. We need to cook this in low flame for around 45 to 50 minutes. Our cake is almost ready. Poke the cake with a fork to see if it is cooked. If it is cooked, it will come out clean. Now let's prepare the topping. For this, I have taken around 100 grams of dark chocolate. I'll be melting it using the double boiler method. For this, pour water into a pan and bring this to a boil and place a bowl on top of it. Put the chocolate and stir it gently until it's melted. Now to the melted chocolate, 
add a tablespoon of coconut oil and mix it thoroughly this gives it a shiny texture now pour this over the cake and spread it evenly or as you like it and refrigerate it for around two to three hours After 3 hours of cooling, your cake is now ready for serving. Do try this at home and let me know in the comments down below how you like it. Until next time, Maasalaamah.